People in Lexington's historically black neighborhood of Cadentown are pushing back against a new business that wants to build there. Cadentown was founded by freed slaves back in the 1960s. The Board of Edge, 1860s we should say, the Board of Edge Architectural Review, which oversees historic districts in Lexington, recently approved the construction of a new commercial building. LEX 18's in-depth reporter Christiana Ford's here with more about how a zoning technicality is having an impact. Yeah, the Board of Architectural Review regularly looks at applications across the city because we have 16 areas designated as historic district overlays. Well, they have approved construction of a new one story commercial building in Caden Town and are working with the owners to make sure it's appropriate for the area. But it is in a location that community members are used to being at home. They fear that adding such a business to their neighborhood will take away from the history they're trying to protect. There are generations of history in this small triangle of land in Lexington. A place that had some background and identification and feeling. A place that was once well known as Caden Town. In fact, it was an all black town. An 88 year old Elvin Seals is what you could call its living history book. His great grandfather was one of the many former black families that purchased lots in the area and formed their own community in the 1800s. After he had come out of slavery, and that's the way many people did. That history is why Seals and his wife still live on that property, now just one of a few black families still left. They pushed to make Caden Town a historic district and are now fighting against the city's decision to allow a new owner to build a single story commercial retail space there. There has never been a business on that corner. Our concern is to keep the integrity of the community. Even though we expressed the concerns, I felt they were went unheard. This is the area off of Old Todd's Road and Caden Town Road that the city says is zoned commercial and allows for the new building to be put here. They say they're just following the process and their ordinances. Director of Historic Preservation for the city, Betty Kerr, says planning records show the land has been zoned for commercial use since 1969. And her office is charged with balancing change while protecting the past. One thing historic preservation does not try to do is freeze time. I think people have a misperception sometimes that the goal of historic preservation is have everything stay just like it is in any given time. And that's not realistic. Things do have to change sometimes. And when they do, you want it to go through the processes that make the outcome the best it can be. But longtime natives say they can't help but feel the new building would be a wiping away of their history. My term for, for what has happened is they failed us uh, tremendously. As long as his legs will allow him, Seal says he will try to protect his community's identity. I'm happy to uh, be one of the persons that's worked hard to maintain Caden Town's identity. As the process moves ahead, the city says their mission is to do the same. History is both the past, the present, and it leads to the future. The only thing that is certain is a new chapter in history will be written, starting with the future of this corner. Now, there is a process to appeal the Board of Architectural Review's decision. A person would have to do that within 30 days of that decision being made. Community members I talked to tell me they do plan to do so. So the story will go on. Back to you.